हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेसन नंबर थर्टीन साउंड पार्ट टू लेट्स रिकॉल व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट हाउ आर साउंड प्रोड्यूस अकोस्टिक्स हाउ इज साउंड हर्ड नाउ लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ साउंड Take two balloon fill air in one and water in the other. Press the balloon filled with the air against your ear as shown in the picture. Rub a finger on the balloon and listen to the sound. Repeat the same activity with the balloon filled with the water. Through which balloon do you do we hear a clearer sound? Stand at the end of a big table and make a friend stand at the other end and ask the friend to knock lightly on the table. You will hear a faint sound. Now You press your ear on the table and ask the friend to repeat the knock. What difference do you notice? We notice that sound travels in the form of waves through air, water or through a solid and reaches our ears. Sound is propagated more clearly through a liquid than through air. It is heard most clearly through a solid. Why is this so? Because transmission of sounds occur at a different speed through different me different mediums. Transmission of sound is faster through a liquid than through a gas and faster through a solid than through a liquid. Sound is said to be propagated when sound waves spread in all direction from a source of sound. The medium of propagation of sound. The substance around a source of sound through which sound waves spread is called medium of propagation of sound. Noise pollution. an unwanted disturbing or harmful sound that impacts a fears with hearing causes stress hampers concentration and and work efficiency or causes accident are called as a noise pollution loud sound is harsh to the ear such sound produce noise noise pollution or noise disturbance is disturbing or excessive noise that may harm the activity or balance of the human or animal life In this type of contamination the human were the main guilty because it's due to them who exert noise harmful to the health or welfare transportation vehicles are the worst offenders with aircraft railroad stock trucks buses automobiles and motorcycles all producing excessive noise Some of the sound they depict are pleasant while some while others are harsh very loud or continuous noise has adverse effect on the people of that locality effect of noise pollution the hearing capacity of the ear is lessened and it may cause deafness there is a mental exhaustion due to constant noise there is restlessness and mental irritability one cannot work with concentration so effect of noise pollution hearing loss high blood pressure stress sleeplessness color blindness disturbance and annoyance measures for preventing noise pollution as far as possible we should avoid blowing the horn the volume of the tv or radio in the house should be restricted to those watching the programs vehicle should be maintained properly to reduce the unnecessary sound they produce factories airports railway station and bus stands should be located at the proper distance away from the residential area Noise pollution occur when we hear one or more sound harmful to the ears. Always remember some of the sound that we enjoy can be nuisance for others. What we have learned vibration required for production of sound a medium is required for the propagation of sound sound is propagated through gaseous liquid and solid mediums noise is disagreeable irregular and loud noise pollution occurs due to continuous noise noise pollution has adverse effects on our health heavy traffic and industrial area causes the maximum noise pollution noise pollution is a social problem it is necessary that everybody take measures to prevent noise pollution blowing the horn of a vehicle is prohibited near the places like schools and hospitals this rule should always be followed so we have completed our lesson number 13 sound thank you